Hey guys, I know it's been a while. This is Lou Magoo. If you're new, we are playing Off Day and it looks really cute. Super simple point and click game. And let's get into it. Oh, right into it. Okay. <laughs> This, this certainly isn't a normal morning face wash. Bao is desperately trying to help me wake up with an excess amount of slobbery kisses, but I appreciate his morning call. But the safe, warm haven of my bed and blankets, I really don't want to get out of bed. Same. <laughs> I feel like I can give myself a few more minutes before I get up. Literally, no one could stop me. <laughs> But, these days, it's been getting more difficult to do anything, really. It's hard to find the strength to do what I need to do, and the days are starting to blur together. But I guess Val really wants me to face the day, huh? Sometimes I wonder what I'd do without him. I really do take him for granted, but I shouldn't. Maybe I should learn to cherish my surroundings more. I mean, there's a lot of stuff to be grateful for. What else should I appreciate more? Oh, that beautiful scenery? I'm glad that Junie and I get these new curtains for my balcony. The light melts through the pink satin curtains and it feels like I could get used to waking up in the morning to see it glow. Maybe after I get up, I'll stand out on the balcony a bit to soak in the sun for once. What do I like about my balcony? Oh. Uh, it's a great place to unwind with friends and drinks. The beautiful view of the city skyline. The fresh breeze that it brings in. Ooh, fresh breeze. Oh, cute. Sunrise is so pretty. To do bow. Running my hands through a bow's fur feels like touching silk. Though I keep finding myself falling asleep whenever we cuddle in the morning. <laughs> he won't let me hit snooze. He's a good boy and he knows what's good for me. <laughs> I just wish we could lie here until the day is over. What do I like about bow? He's my childhood best friend. Oh, he's the cutest, softest, most likable. He always, he's always been there to cheer me up. He's my childhood best friend, that's so cute! Good boy. Good bun bow. <laughs> <coughs> Laundry basket, bag, bed, bow's bed. Oh, you can go over here! Laptop, photos. Let's do the photos. Ooh. Should probably look for more photos to put up. Though being stuck in here doesn't help. Having some of the old trip photos is better than nothing, I guess. True. My brazier! Just kidding. <laughs> probably a plant. I love plants, so. The one and only plant I've ever been able to keep alive. <laughs> At least for now. Gotta be like a picture, I assume. No laptop? Gotta get ready for work soon. The team is meeting online this afternoon, so I'll need to prepare a report and possibly a coffee while I wake on it. Work on it, sorry. What do I like about my laptop? Oh. I use it to store all my photos with friends and places I've been to. Since I've personalized and customized it, it keeps me motivated when I'm working. Yes, that usually does help. I finally just customized mine. It's reliable, high performance, and keeps all my work organized. Well, since we're going with family and friends, we gotta do that. 
I should do my dailies. A water drag. <clears throat> do things make me happy? Or do these things make me happy? Well, of course, bow. Yes, I guess. The thing is... Nowadays I'm here the majority of the time, but I've never really taken the time to look at the things I own. Let alone take the time to appreciate them thoughtfully. The balcony brings in a nice soothing breeze that lets me know that it's going to be okay. Sometimes all I need is fresh air or the smell of light rain to calm me down. Yeah? Val has always been there for me and we've been best friends for so long. Remember the day I met him like it was yesterday. The memories with him are full of both rain and sun, still fresh in my mind. He's been with me through it all. My laptop is there to store all my photos with friends in all the places I've been to. Though I find myself looking at them a lot lately, wondering when I'll see everyone again. I don't like the idea of taking things for granted, so it's nice to have moments to be thoughtful every once in a while. Everything here is a little part. Everything here is a little is a little part of me, and I guess I was slipping away from that. I feel ya. In a way, this helps motivate me to jumpstart my day. Junie will be going back home later, so I should finish up work early today and hang with her tonight. All right, let's get to work. Hello. Hey, you. <coughs> Juniper, I love her name. Oh, hey. How's your day been? Pretty okay, just finished work. Why are you sitting under the kotatsu with sweatpants on? Aren't you hot? It's comfy. You know how, like, you can't sleep at night without having a blanket on you, no matter how hot it is. <laughs> and how are you so sure I have sweatpants on under here? <laughs> You've only been wearing sweatpants for the entire year. <laughs> Our conversations always go like this. Silly little quarrels that don't actually go anywhere. But it's always fun when we tease each other, even though we don't really do much lately. Just Juniper's presence alone puts me at ease. Looking around our living room, the home we made for ourselves, I start to see a little I start to see li the little things that make us who we are. I also just want to take a moment to soak them all in as well. I love her. <laughs> I'm glad that I get to live with Junie. She's practically the best roommate anyone could ask for. Even though she's a lot more adventurous and likes outdoorsy things, I appreciate when we sit together here and just vibe. Why are you still standing there? Come sit down. Shush. I'm thinking here. <laughs> what are you thinking about that requires you to stand? Be quiet and eat your oranges. <laughs> what do I like about Juniper? She's been my friend for so long. Our apartment wouldn't feel the same without her. She encouraged me to always do my best. Encourages me. Oh, gosh, that was really loud in my ear. Um, <laughs> did you just take a picture of me? Do I have something on my face? <laughs> no. You're just a bestie. Bookshelf? You could call it a bookshelf. This is where Junie and I leave a bunch of things we like. Everything here merges both of our interests together and is mainly the reason why we hang out here so much. What do I like about the bookshelf? Junia, Junie and I picked it out together. It was small enough to fit the room. Games. We gotta do games, guys. Looks like an old PlayStation. Ah, yes. My new mint condition. Oh. PS5 minus 4. <laughs> That's funny. 
You know, I kind of wish they still look like that, you know. Okay, how about TV? Junie brought this big boy to the apartment from her house when her parents were getting a new one for their place. <clears throat> it's old, but it gets the job done. What do I like about the television? I always play BOTW here while Junie chills with me. Hmm. It's aesthetic. Nothing. It's old as hell. <laughs> Hopefully we can get a newer one, but I'm in no rush. Do these things make me happy? Sure. It's nice to see parts of ourselves all over the apartment. Haha, <laughs> I guess so. This place is the best of both our worlds. I don't think I would have half the stuff I have here in the living room back at my old house. Having it all here makes it that much more special. A big part of our cozy home is you. Ah, Honestly, with you, it feels like I can get anything done. I'm really glad I get to hang out with you here. It's the same with the bookshelf. It's the perfect fit for our little living room. I, I remember when we first moved in, the best part was furniture shopping at Ikea. Or Ikea. <laughs> Man, I miss furniture shopping. Ha, huh, right? As for the TV, it's not the best, but it came from your family, right? Came as a hand-me-down from my place. Baby can fit a lot of history in it. <laughs> Honestly, it doesn't matter how old it is, as long as we can play games and watch shows together on it. If it works, it works. And you know, even though we're so different, there's so much here that really makes this place special. This place wouldn't be the same without you. Aw, Melody. I enjoy living here with you too. I'm really grateful I found this place with you. Same. I don't know how long I would have survived being here by myself. Aw, oh, what do you mean? That was right here. Oh, you're right. You can get out now. <laughs> <laughs> Dang. Oh, look at the time. Guess I gotta go now, then. Oh, no. Don't go. Bow didn't mean it. No, I mean I have to get ready to go now. I'm heading back home for the week, remember? Oh, yeah, right. We can have more... We can have movie night when I get back. Sorry again for the last-minute plans. You know how my family is. Yeah, my family's like that, too. Yeah, no worries. Be safe. Don't forget your mask. Of course, call me if you need anything, okay? See ya. Guess I have the apartment to myself again. Hmm. I was looking forward to movie night, but I guess I can just do something else in the meantime. Maybe I'll prepare dinner or clean my room for once. <laughs> I could also work on the other projects I didn't have time for. Ugh, no. I'm done with work for now. I'll just lie down for a bit and then go take a shower. Yeah, that sounds that sounds nice. <clears throat> oh. Oh, hey, pal. Always here to cheer me up, huh? Thought I was doing okay, but once Junie left the apartment, I think things just started to go downhill been like what a few hours since Junie left this kind of this is kind of pathetic oh I've just been trying really hard to feel better about myself I guess my last ditch effort was sitting here on the floor I felt like I was really doing something to help my mood and to block out the worry I had but there's always this pit in my stomach it just makes me want to cry what do I do from here <sighs> this is gonna make me cry. It was not my intention. Ice cream. <laughs> I guess ice cream. Nothing's changed. Even from back home, I'd hide in my room with the tub and cry into it. Hmm. I keep thinking it'll help me feel better. 
though it doesn't always work and I feel worse. Do I even deserve to eat this right now? It's like, it's like I always come back to this moment. If not ice cream, any comfort food will do. I didn't even buy this. Judy might get mad at me. If I don't buy another one, she'll know it's missing. <laughs> Well, these are all sad. <laughs> What's this one? And yes, you do deserve to have ice cream. You are worthy. It's already melting into a puddle. That's okay. You like ice cream soup. It's good soup. <laughs> Bow again? Bow's nudging and nuzzling my face trying to comfort me. Good boy. Gosh, I forgot. The place is always so nice and clean, but it's because Junie practically does all the joy choice chores. I can't even bring myself to do it when it's my turn. And now I'm just sitting here on the floor with all the dust. Am I just filthy? No, you're not. Reminds me of how my mom would tell me to keep the place clean. It'd make the place tidier, but I rarely ever use it. I should though. It's alright. You gotta get you gotta get moving. Can't be there, you know, because then you're just gonna get deeper and deeper into it. At this point, I just want to lie down on the cold hard floor. Oh, You know what? Let's see what this is. Junie usually likes to write reminders on the fridge for me. It's, it's honestly so considerate of her. And yet, I feel terrible that I'm only thinking about myself and rarely do anything for her. I'm so caught up in my own problems that I keep forgetting to check on her. Do we have communication problems? It's been a while since we've written for each other here. Most of them are mine. I'm so clinging. Junie does this so I don't fall apart. I think we're drifting apart. Am I a burden? <sighs> Everything sucks right now, but maybe I can keep thinking positively. I just... I just have to reflect on the things that make me happy again. Maybe like... Oh! Listen. Oh, oh my gosh, the artwork's beautiful. I love it. <clears throat> hey. Hi, Junie. I wanted to call because you seemed really down right before I left. I just wanted to check in on you. I know I literally just left, but are you okay? I just feel like sh chisnit. <laughs> Aww. It's just so hard to stay positive sometimes. I spend all day trying to appreciate everything and I still just... Hey, it's okay. You always work hard and rarely give yourself a break. I know you're dealing with a lot of stuff. I think I need to spend more time with people. I can't always bother you and feel empty when you leave. Oh, Staying in this apartment, I love it so much, but it's been slowly draining me. But everyone is in the same position. Everyone is in the dumps. It's okay, Mel. If you want, you can always come home with me and visit my family. That way, you won't be alone in the apartment. Yeah, I think that would be good. No. Ever since I met you, you've been a constant light in my life. You've taught and shown me so many new things. Meeting you is one of the best things that's happened to me. And you've been there for me for all these years. So I want to be there for you too. Oh, Junie. 
I think in the past we never really had a deep and honest talk together, huh? I think because we've both grown up, we've learned to give each other more time. I'm really glad we have these conversations. Me too. So don't worry about the small things, okay? I know everything is hard right now, but that just means that we have to take care of each other even more than before, right? Right. Everything will be okay. I'll always be here for you. I love you, Junie. I love you too, Mel. I'll bring some food and snacks for you when I get home. I'll see you soon, okay? Alright, see you. Just hang in there, okay? Ugh! Thank you for playing. Cute, I love it. Oh, look, and there's Pow. That was real cute. I loved it. It's just the pick-me-up that I needed, and I'm gonna go and uh, cry myself to sleep now, so. <laughs> and I will see you guys later. Bye!